Welcome to Charts Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Thursday the 24th of August comes to you from London and we start with the dollar. The dollar index just rising a little bit, uh, trying to get back above the cloud. Um, we still have this August low at the beginning of August, so it's it's maybe this is a bottom for the dollar for a while. It's still hard to say. I mean, we are finding quite strong support along this line here at around 92, 50, 93. So, um, and again, we see that on the point and figure chart. So, whilst we are still bearish below the cloud on all three time frames, the lagging line may be just about to turn bullish. We are showing signs of stabilizing. The euro. Um, we look at the euro, we're above the cloud here, bullish on all three time frames. Another upside target yesterday, um, not yet activated, but we are looking more and more like hitting this 120 level against the dollar, 118 this morning we've touched. Um, so if we look at the Japanese yen, we see here dollar is also strengthening here, just turning bullish against the yen. So um, that's quite significant for the dollar. And sterling we're seeing going lower against the dollar as well. And uh, this is as much about sterling weakness as it is about dollar strength. But we've got downside targets into the mid-20s, so 2% downside. Against the euro, sterling hit a new eight-year low yesterday. We've talked about this for some time. We've said that we would likely to hear those headlines. Well, those, those, that's what we heard yesterday. Um, no clear downside targets on the short-term chart, so it just says, suggests that this move in the short term might be done. But the medium term, we do have this uh, 98.50 target, um, meaning that uh, sterling will be um, will will be valued at, at near parity. And if we look at the Swiss franc, uh, we see here sterling below as well, with downside targets of anywhere between one and three percent. And against the Australian dollar, just recovering a little bit this morning. We're not back above the cloud, but uh, we do have quite significant downside targets here as well. The S and P 500 index yesterday uh, was fairly flat. We see we're still below the cloud here on the short term chart. <coughs> On the Nasdaq, we're again just very flat, waiting really for direction. And the Dow Jones um, also fairly flat on the day as well. Uh, the Russell 2000 uh, is just recovering a little bit, but still quite worrying um, in the medium term chart. The only uh, major index in the US that's below the cloud. Looking at the um, S&P future, very slightly up this morning, so no clear direction for the market to open today. And the same with the Nasdaq E-mini, although this is starting to look a little bit more bullish as well. The FTSE 100 index uh, yesterday did recover a little bit, so uh, and we are seeing this morning again just uh, moving a little bit higher, getting back above the cloud. The FTSE 250 um, is still struggling a little bit as well. And the uh, the DAX, the German DAX, looking a little bit better, but the stronger euro is still weighing heavily here, and the medium term chart is bearish. The Nikkei 250 hitting new lows on the stronger yen, and we're seeing here um, a downside target of 3.7%. So Japanese equity is looking a little bit less favorable. The medium term chart now starting to come under pressure with prices moving below the cloud. The Hang Seng Index looking stronger, back above the cloud on the short term charts. The Chinese equities looking better and the local market in Shanghai, although down at the moment by about half a percent, is in a new bullish trend and looking stronger with that transition on the longer term charts. China looking pretty good. Uh, the Sensex just coming off the floor, not quite through on the cloud yet, but looks like it's finding support in the medium term. And the Australian index is actually up very slightly, but a very mixed picture here. It's just stuck in this sideways range. Brent crude down slightly this morning, did have a better day yesterday. We're still bullish on all three time frames on Brent crude, but we are coming under some pressure. And WTI um, flat this morning did jump again yesterday. Um, not so clear on the medium term trend. US nat gas um, bearish on the uh, short term chart. Uh, so just back into the 290s there, and copper continues its march. It's uh, been flat the last hour too, but still looks good on all three time frames. The big one has been gold. Gold has actually uh, really teetered with this 1290 level, just on the very short term. We're back into the mid-1280s this morning, just struggling to break out. 
Um, but we are just seeing gold testing the resistance level here as we go. And silver much the same um, as well. Looking at 10-year Treasury yields, we're seeing here just sitting at this 2.2% in the doldrums, basically. Um, Jackson Hole going on at the moment, so that might give us some um, news for a move. Uh, the Apple um, stock looking still pretty bullish on all three time frames. Google recovering through the cloud, so that's looking better as well. Amazon also uh, still just struggling to get back above the cloud and Facebook also just bearish below the cloud a bit flat at the moment just struggling at this 170 level and Microsoft uh, also just in the sideways range so a lot of tech stocks we're just seeing this wait for a, uh, a move in either direction that's it for today until tomorrow happy charting see you then